Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you all are doing well today. Um, today, as you can see from the title, I am playing with my jelly plate, but this is my new one. It is a gel press jelly plate, and it's the 5x7. This isn't my monster big one. Never used it before, so I thought I need to get it out and have some fun playing. So what I've already done is put some colors down um, on some papers here. And now what I wanted to do to do some play is to use some common household items to make textures on this to do a second pull on these papers that I've already laid the base color on. Um, of course, you can use stencils and whatever, and I do use those things a lot. However, I'm working at my craft desk, and I have about a postage size uh, area to work in, and I just can't uh, uh, put all the papers out and everything. So I'm, I'm working small today, um, and I don't have room for wet stencils and whatever. So. What I was going to do is go ahead and, and put a second layer on these to see what we could come up with for some texture. So I just have my cheapo, cheapo paints here. Um, well, some aren't so cheap. This is Dale Rowney, but, you know, I got them at um, Tuesday morning, so they weren't expensive. Um, but I think that they're probably... Okay, Helen, let's look before... I have to think, what am I putting on what? So, yes, I can put pink on orange... Um, and this is actually orange and orange red, uh, this brilliant orange here, and I forget which other orange it was, but I think I'm going to do some pink, and maybe I'll use some lemon yellow here. I have no idea what's going on, what's going to happen here. What, I, what I'm, I'm, and I don't really care, uh, I'm actually just playing because I want to see, other than using... Uh, stencils uh, to create pattern and, and design on these. What else can I use? Um, and I've got over here, I've got a stack of papers that I'm wiping off on, and I'll show you these when I'm when I'm done what my wipe on. So the first thing I thought was I have this bag, it is an apple bag, and I just thought if I crunched it up like this, of course you could use a trash bag, you know, plastic uh, grocery bag. The reason I'm not doing that is because grocery bags are like gold in my house because we have a cat with a cat box. So you probably understand why uh, I need to keep those. So I'm doing that and then um, I think I'll just blot that off on the paper here because of course every piece of paper, your roll off paper, your underneath paper, everything is gold. Um, now the thing is this one here, the first pull I did, I didn't have enough paint on and it really has a lot of texture on it. So I don't think this will show on that. So I'm going to try this bright red one. Now it might be too dark, but we'll give it a shot. I mean, this is all I'm doing here is playing. Um, I'm you can always salvage jelly prints. You can keep going. You can add layer after layer. You can just tear up the little pieces. You can cut them up. You can use them pages in your journals. You know, it doesn't matter. You can always save. But I just wanted to see if an apple bag made enough uh, of a texture. Um, mm, a little bit. I mean, a little bit. You can't see it that well. But you can see the color, so at least I added another layer to that really, really red-orange page. So I'm going to put that to dry. Now when I get to this point, like when I've got just a little bit of paint left, one of my favorite things to do is to just add some white. Just add some white. Okay, the Q white here. I've just used this white. It's not like it's clogged. So what I like to do is I just like to use some white, just white, and go ahead and cover that little bit of co color. These are some of my favorite prints, are the white background uh, prints. And I'm not gonna texture this one. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to pull the way it is on a piece of white paper. And these pieces of paper I'm using are just uh, regular, copy paper, but these are the second half of all my Etsy orders. When I have Etsy order and I print the the uh, receipt out, uh, or no, not the receipt, the shipping label, you have half of a page, so 
That's what these are. And for some reason, I just love the muted colors, the way, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look at that. I don't know why, I just love these light prints. Now there's white underneath that, and then see, you can pull all, and it's a good way to clean your jelly plate too. Here's one I did earlier with pink and purple, and I just love it. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Okay, so, um, okay, so that, that using a bag, probably would be better if we used a light background. So here's, okay, here's one, a white print right here. This is a one that I pulled white. So let's go ahead and try the bag and we'll use a dark color on top. So let's go ahead and use, um, what color should we use on top? Let's use pink, okay, and just see what happens. So I think what I'm going to do is just very lightly put the pink on. And um, I think I'm going to actually mix it with white. I, I'm just playing. No, no reason why. Okay, where's my pen here? This white is, this white is starting to irritate me in here. Let's get that open. And I never waste any paint. It all goes somewhere. Oops. Okay, not that. You don't want, if you have a jelly plate, be careful of these um, hard paint pieces that get around the neck of your bottle because that could dig into your jelly plate and, and put a divot in it, and you don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to try again and see if I can get a design with that apple bag. I've got a whole bunch of stuff here to try, so let's see here. So I'm going to wad it up again and see. It's what it's doing. I'm not sure if the camera is showing this, but what it's actually doing is picking paint up. It's really a cool looking thing. I should probably just do a pull like this, not on another piece, but I don't want to waste that paint, so I'm going to put it there. Let's see here. I was going to put it on that one, but now I don't know if I want to do that. Um... You know what, let's just do it on white and see what it looks like, because that might show the crackle. I can see it on the jelly plate, and it might just be I'm picking the wrong colors. I might need to be picking brighter colors or something. Maybe what that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll do this with yellow or something um, so it will show up. But I just want to see on a first pull if you can tell. Yeah, you can tell the texture. All right, so there, oh, it's cool. Okay, look at that. That is a cool texture for not having bought a tool, right? That's just a plastic bag. Oh, I love that. Okay, so let's try that one more time, and we're going to put some, uh, I don't know, though. I love this one so much, um, this white print here. Okay, let's try using a dark print. Let's put yellow and see if it will show up on a dark print. We we'll use this bright lemon yellow, and now these these background papers that I made, all I did, I didn't use any stencils, I didn't use any any uh, anything like that. I just used two colors and brayered them on, um, and that's all I did. Okay, so I need to get another roll off here. I have a stack of paper over here that I'm rolling off on because I don't I want to save save these things and make lots of stuff for journals and like I said I will show you that so let's get our trusty bag again and do some more tapping just tapping and we'll see if it shows up on this bright red orange I hope that tapping's not too loud I you know sometimes things are louder than they they are they're louder on camera they seem than they are okay there we go all right, so let's try this. All right, it's not going to be a perfect layover. That's fine. Let's see if this works. You can use your brayer if you want. I just use my hands, but you can always use your brayer. Okay. All right, I'm not sure if the camera's going to show, but yes, you can see a little bit, but not as much as when... You just did it like that, just the first pull. So maybe you use the pl plastic bag, use it as a background, 
This is so cool. I love this. This has some on it, but not as much. So, okay, so lesson learned. Plastic bag we need to use on the first layer. So let me go ahead and put these two aside to dry. Now we're going to try something else. So the next thing I have to play with is this piece of cardboard. This is actually the box that goes around the box for the toothpaste I use, which is Himalaya brand. And I love that brand just because it is so minty. It's awesome. Uh, real good mint taste. So we've got this one right here, this yellow and orange. Let's go ahead and use uh, this brilliant red. Now this brilliant red this is a De La Rowney. This brilliant red is um, almost a red orange. It's not like fire engine red. It's more red orange. So let's go ahead and put some of this on and see what happens. So guys, you can just get look around your house at anything that has texture and say, gee, I could probably use that on gel plate. Um, okay. I'm just getting out the the... the little hard pieces. All right, let me, I'm going to roll that up on that. Okay, so let's get this thing here and make some stripes. Or, yeah, stripes. All right, I hope that that shows up what I did there. Oh, here, I can do that on the side here on my table there. Okay, so let's give this a shot here and see what this looks like. Yeah, I'm so everywhere I go, I look at stuff for texture. I'm like, ooh, I could use that as a stencil or I could use that on my gel plate. Um, and you don't have to spend a lot of money because gel plates themselves are quite pricey. So, you know, you don't need to have all the toys. Oh, this is cool. Okay, yeah, this works. Look at that. You see them? That's really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so that's a good one. So let's put that over there. Let's do another one like that. Um, I've got this dark paper here. I wonder, all right, we're gonna go for it. Let's see if we can do it in white, if it will show up on this paper. Why not? Why not? Let's throw caution to the wind. And I love when my gel plate gets all kinds of colors and stuff going on it. And I know, I mean, I do somewhat clean my gel plate, but not really. <laughs> because I really like to go back and pull up the dried paint on other projects. Okay, so here's my expensive tool. And I'm just going to put my stripes here. And again, this is just really removing, um, removing paint. Ugh. Okay. So let's see what this looks like on this. This might just be horrendous. Doing it on the brown paper to me is a little bit iffy because, you know, colors don't come out as pure as they are on white paper when you use brown paper. But we'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is pretty cool. You can really see it. See the texture there? Again, just just using an old box from toothpaste. All right, so let's do another one. The next thing I have to use is, okay, this is gonna be fun. This is a piece of packaging from Tim Holtz Swivel Clips. And I don't know if you can see, but it's got the very interesting bumpy shape on it. Now, this kind of, this idea to use that kind of packaging like that, that is very, um, um, Carolyn Doobie to me because she does all kinds of stuff like that. She will use anything on her uh, gel plate. So I'm going to use this yellow one here. So let's go ahead and pick a color that would show up well on that. Let's use this pink and see what happens here. All right, this bright pink. Now the other thing, when I gel plate... Um, because you, if you do use stencils and all of that, you know, you get out quite a lot of stuff and you need all the room and blah, blah, blah. Um, I kind of limit the colors I work with at one, at one time, just so I'm not overwhelmed because, you know, you get so much, so many, uh, paint colors. So let me go ahead and see what happens here. 
I'm just kind of blotting this in here. I'm not sure if this is even going to work. This one I didn't do quite hard enough, I think. Okay. All right. See, now I've got paint on there. Let me just get a piece of paper. Any piece of paper. Hold on. Just grab a piece of paper. Okay. I'm just going to do this and put it down here because I don't want to waste this, this either. Okay. That didn't really come out and I think because it's not flat but it is definitely this shape is this shape is definitely on there but for some reason I can't stamp with it all right so let's go ahead and do this and see how this looks um so yeah like I said Carolyn Doobie she does it's D-U-B-E she's got a great YouTube channel she um, does a lot of gel plating and she will put anything on her gel plate She's, she is fearless when it comes to playing. And, and I really am too. I mean, I really just want to play. Okay, so this is really cool. Okay, so look how that packaging came out, right? That is really cool. Could you imagine doodling around that? Oh my gosh, I love that. That is awesome. We're going to do another one of that one. So let's use this, this one here. And let's go with this orange here. Um, this orange here. Oh my gosh, I love that. I'm so glad I thought of that. It was actually, I know, you're going to say, what? It was actually in the trash. And then I saw it and I was like, oh wait, <laughs> wait, wait. I'm not throwing that away, am I? Okay. Alright. You might hear Miss Holly in the background. It is coming up to her dinner time but as always she's not going to starve to death that is for sure i'm just looking for another piece of roll off paper here okay so let's give this another try here now with this packaging like i said you do have to kind of push down i think because it's not completely flat you do have to push down on it a little bit okay Okay, I've got a kid screaming right outside my window. Why are you stopping in front of my window? Keep moving, people. Okay, let me see if this darker one will work to print off. No, okay, so it just doesn't work as a stamp, but it does work on the jelly plate. So let's see what this is going to look like here. Oh, people, move on. They're right outside my window. There's a sidewalk right outside my window, and this little kid is screaming. Shoo, shoo. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. Oh, cool, look at this. Isn't that neat, just from packaging? I love it. See, this is, this is why we play. This is why we play. Okay, where are we? We're at 18 minutes. I still have some time. I'm probably going to make this a little bit longer video since I've got all this out. Okay, so we've done the cardboard. We've done the paper bag. We've done the packaging. The next thing I have is this brush. And if any of you color your hair, you'll know what this is. It's, it's a uh, dye brush for your hair. So let's see what we've got going here. All right, I've got this blue, blue and green background here. So let's see what we can do with this. So what color are we going to use here? Um, I, I think, let's see, what do I want to use on this one? Um, oh, I have an idea. Hold on a second. Uh, I have to look in my box here. I have, I have my box here of other paints. And, yep, here it is. Um, do I want to do this? Uh, oh my gosh, what do I want to do? Um, I know, Dave, you're saying it. Do something, Helen, just do something. Oh, and I lost one of my prints on the floor. Okay, what color? Do a pick a color. Okay, we're going to use this. We're going to use the Burnt Sienna uh, by Golden. And we'll see, we'll just see how this turns out. And I'm just going to put very light on this one because I don't want to cover up the beautiful blue and green. You know, I just I just want to put some texture on there. So let's see. 
how this goes. So I just want to take this little brush and I'm going to see now this brush, probably using a comb would be better. This brush is very fine. So it's not making that big of a pattern. Oh, look what I did. <laughs> okay. All right. No problems. No problems. All right. You know, it just amazes me. I watched a video yesterday of a lady gel plating, plating and she made all these pulls on her paper, and her hands were absolutely clean. <laughs> I don't see how people do that. Okay, let's see here. Okay, yes, you can see the brushing. Um, right here, you can really see how it's brushed. I actually like that those colors together quite well. Um, so what I'm thinking is to use a darker color on a very light color. Now, I have that burnt umber on here, and I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to uh, grab some paper. I just have some strips. I guess I was... Yes, I was making some journals. I'm just going to use my white and pull up that uh, burnt umber. Is that what it was? Yeah, burnt sienna. Okay. All right. I'm just going to pull that burnt sienna up a little bit. Okay. All right. And I'm sorry. I know when I'm rolling off, I'm probably shaking you off. So let's go ahead and put that there. Oops, don't do that. And put this here. And we'll just see what happens. I don't even waste any little pieces of paper because you can use these for bookmarks. You can use them for tags. You can use them for anything. So I, any scraps of paper that are, are usable, I will reuse them. Let's see. Yeah, see, so just the white with the burnt sienna on it. I love that. And see right here, you can actually see the end of one of those, that packaging thing right there in the orange. So these will be printed again, but that's the start. Okay, so um, so this, yes, but I think, okay, let's, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try. This is very light here. Let's use the bigger one. This one's very light. Let's go ahead and use a darker color and see if it will show up on that. Um, so we're going to use this orange color. This is actually orange. And maybe if I use a little bit more too, that I can actually get a good amount of um, paint on it so that I can really make a pattern. Let's see. And like I said, I can see it on the gel plate. You may not be able to, but I can. So let's get my two things here. Let's get this one on almost all the way. And this was just the end piece here. And let's see how, it, how this looks. So I hope that this is inspiring you. If you have a gel, well, even if you don't have a gel plate, you could probably stamp with a lot of stuff like this, like the cardboard. You can stamp with a plastic bag or whatever. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can clearly see it here. You can clearly see the, the brush marks in this, the stripes, right? So that's the key. Then go lighter and then put a darker on top, and then, then you'll be able to see that. Okay, so the next thing I have, I've got a couple more things to play with. I have, oh, I have, yeah, I probably won't get through all of them. Well, maybe I will. I don't know. I'll, we'll see. Okay, I've got this um, piece from a box of chocolates, and it's got, like, uh, bumps on it. It's kind of like bubble wrap, but not really. So let's do, this, is, this I'm sure, is going to work. Let's do this real simple. We're just going to put some white and some yellow and we'll put it on this one that didn't do so well my first pull where I didn't put enough paint on the undercover so let's just see what we can do with this okay looks like eggs <laughs> okay I have way too much paint on there roll this off 
I'm getting some, oops, some great roll-off papers. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Um, all right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and, oops, I, I moved this, and I might have just screwed it up because I, no, it's okay. Oh, this is a cool one. All right, so you see how that is? That's awesome. Let me see if I can stamp with it. Will this stamp off? Yes, it does. So this stamps off too. So that's cool. So packaging from chocolates. All right, so let's see if that light over this this dark orange will work. Yeah. And it's so fun when you do this. It's very relaxing to use your gel plate. And it's just fun to see what the results are, you know. And sometimes I've made really great ones and I don't remember how I did it. That's the sad part. Okay, let's see. Yep, yep. Look, definitely. You can see how that worked. Now, the blobs are there because I didn't, you know, that's the way they were on the gel plate. So, okay, so that's cool. So that works. Now I've got this color here, so let me get the white again. Don't want to waste any color, but I like my white backgrounds, especially if we're doing like that brush technique where we do need a lighter background. This is a perfect way to save that paint. Okay. All right, so let me get um, a white paper for this. I have, you can't see it, it's off the camera, but I have a huge stack of paper here, all kinds of paper. So let's, I'm just going to use the, let me tear this, it's too big. Let me just use this piece of white paper here. Okay, the top of this paper that I ripped off was a recipe for Guatemalan black beans and rice which looked really good, but for some reason when the paper went through the printer, it only, it, you know how, how sometimes it will feed two pieces at the same time, but they're not aligned. That's what happened. Okay, so there, I got all the rest of that paint off the jelly plate, except this little hard thing, and um, have another great background to use. Okay, so the next thing, so this works, the using, using candy wrapper works. So the next thing I have is from a lemon bag, this kind of paper here from a lemon bag. And um, I'm thinking on this, how are we going to do this? No, we're going to put some paint down. Let me get a one, this one right here. And let's go ahead and use, um, uh, what color do we want on top of that? Blue and green. Hold on a second. Let me just look at my handy chart here so we should be going with some kind of brownie so let's go with the, the uh, umber again or burnt sienna and let's see what this is going to look like Ugh. so for this i want for this these smaller textured things i want to get the paint on kind of evenly so that the texture actually shows and you don't have globs of paint Okay, so now for this one, I think what I'm going to have to do is brayer this in a little bit. And I'm going to be taking two pulls on this because, of course, I'll have the, the stencil kind of effect. And then I should be able to uh, pull un underneath, too. Now, since there's something on this, I'm going to use my brayer to press down. And now it could be that these holes are too small. I don't know. And it could be that I'm moving my paper around and it's not going to work. We'll just have to see. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, look. Oh, that worked cool. So that's just a lemon bag right there. Okay, so let's take this off. And we're going to just put this over here and brayer through this and see if this will print off. Oops. Oh uh, yeah, a little bit, but just mostly like spots and stuff. But the good thing is if you have something like this, 
and you keep layering the paint off, it will get stiffer and stiffer and easier to work with. So now let's go back to this print that I just made cleaning off this and let's do this, the reverse, I guess, or the underside of that um, lemon bag. Now I'm not the first person, I'm not saying I'm the first person to use any of these things. Um, I've seen people use all kinds of things. Like I said, Carolyn Duby uses a lot of things. But these were just things that I found that I thought, let me throw them on. So I'm not saying I invented this. I, I'm just saying these are things I had and I thought might be a good idea. Okay, now what happened was, um, you can kind of see it, but not really. What happened is I think this paint dried on here while um, while I was futzing around. So what we're going to do is get it off with some white. And I'll, I'll print over this with the white. If you put the white liquid paint like this over the other paint and just wait a second, it sometimes will reactivate the paint and get it wet enough that it will come off. Okay. So let's give this another try and see if we can't get that off. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there you go. So that's the underside. So that was the one pull, the first pull through the bag, and then that is the reverse, which was what was under the bag. And I love both of them. I think they're so both so cool. Okay, so that was that. Now the next thing I have to play with, I have two more things, so hang in there with me, is this um, poster. It's a rattan or something coaster, and I've used this on a jelly plate before. So let me just go ahead and take one of my light prints, this one right here. This was from the paper bag. This was the, the paper bag technique. So let's go ahead and use some, let's use some orange on this. Oh, okay. And what I'd really like to do is, when I'm done all these, and I'll probably do it off camera, but if it works, I'll, I'll show you in a different video. I want to use some of my neon colors just as a touch on the top, like the third pull. Um, but I'm not sure how I would do that without overpowering everything with neon. I just really want a little bit of neon on the, the picture. So I have to really, or maybe even I'll just stamp or something on them with, with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Holly, just wait, honey. You're going to have to wait, honey. And I'm just, you know, randomly putting this in. But can you see the circles there? I hope so. And I'm sorry my light's changing. The sun's going down. It's getting late. Okay, so let's see. Can we stamp with this? Yes, yeah, so you can stamp with that. So this will also stamp off. So let's put that aside. So we're going to take this light one and put it on. So guys, don't don't waste any paper. You know, like I said, even strips that you have, um, envelopes. I've got a lot of this pile I'll show you of my wipe off. Is I've been actually wiping off on envelopes and odd sizes of paper. There you go. Isn't that neat? I mean, guys, really, you don't have to buy expensive stencils. All right, I don't want this video to get too late uh, or too long. So the, the last thing I'm going to do, and I've done this before, is a piece of a flip-flop. Uh, a friend gave me this. This is the, the bottom of a flip-flop, and it looks like bricks. I love that. I love that. So let's take it. Let me just take a quick look at my uh, jelly plates here and find one. Okay, we're going to go back to one of these bright orange ones here that was nominal. This is where I tried the bag, but let's go ahead and do it in white over that dark orange and see how that works. We might have to go the other way and do the burnt sienna, but let's try it with the white and see what that does. And you see my brayer is dirty, so it's actually not even white. It's very pale orange. Okay. 
All right, so let's, okay, you got to stamp it, Helen. You were, I was just going to put the paper on. I'm going to try to do this kind of in different directions here. Why? I don't know. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure this will stamp. Yeah, it does stamp. It's just that I've since it's so light, it's hard to see. But, yes, you can stamp with a, the bottom of a flip-flop. So let's go ahead and take this one and see, whoops, see what happens here. It's been so long since I've used my jelly plate. I've been wanting to do this for so long. I'm so glad I have a chance to do it. Okay, you can see it. The white on top of this orange is probably not the best. I should have probably gone with the burnt sienna and gone darker, but I think there is still some on here. So let me um, let me get a piece of clean paper and see if I can put. Let me think about this. Let me put burnt sienna down and see if. I'm not, my mind's not working if this will work or not. But that's why you just play, right? That's why we just play, because we're not always sure if things are going to work or not. And since I'm using these high-tech tools, <laughs> like my trash, it really doesn't matter. And the paper, like I said, is all paper that's old envelopes or pieces of paper from shipping labels so let's see if this will the design will come off on this okay let's see okay no it did not um it did not it turned it a beautiful color though i do love this this paper that's interesting because I could see, oh, you can see a little bit down here. Maybe, okay, we're going to try one more thing. We're going to go darker. We're going to go with the Payne's Gray. We're doing it. We're going with Payne's Gray, my, one of my favorite, favorite colors. Um, and we're going to try that. I think then maybe with some, I, I think, like I said, it's my color choices that are going awry here. And I'm not an art student. I've never been an art student, so it's just hit or miss with me what you're going to get. All right. Okay, let's see. Come back here. Flip-flop. Let's try this again. Okay. Okay, now let me get... I'm not going to use this one. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and use it. Let's live. Let's see how this looks. It might look hideous. I don't know what Payne's Gray over Burnt Sienna is going to look like, but we'll give it a shot. Maybe it will come out real grungy. Okay, that is really cool. I don't... I hope you can see it in the camera. It is picking it up, but for some reason, maybe because this was still damp, it didn't pick up a lot of the paint. But it did pick up some, and you can see the brick in there. So, what's the answer? We're going to put white on here. And clean that off with a clean sheet of paper. And I, I think it might look really cool. Let's give it a try. Because remember what I said, if you put the white on like this, it tends to reactivate what's underneath it. Holly, you just need to be patient, sweet girl. Okay. I'm just going to roll this over here. Okay, let's see. This is either going to be really cool or it's not going to be cool. <laughs> Hopefully it's going to be really cool. 50-50 chance. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, okay. It's cool. All right. 
Look, it almost looks like denim. It's that, yeah, I like that a lot. That is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here. Um, we're just going to recap real quick. Let me get my papers together and I'll show you. These are two that I did the, um, just the two colors uh, on the bottom. I didn't, you know, use the tools on these, but I wanted to let these really dry because I was using, that's the other thing, you don't only have to use acrylic paint. These are actually Heidi Swap Art Screen ink, um, but they're really thick. They're, it's like, I don't know, but anyway, these really had to dry, but look at that one. Isn't that cool? I love those. So those were just sitting up there. I didn't use those because they needed to be dried. So here's the one where we used the paint, the uh, burnt sienna with the brush. And then, let me grab the stack over here. Oh my goodness, it's a big stack. We've done a lot, guys. And this one, and this one. So let's see here. This is just a pull from the back with the white. These two are nothing. This is with the cardboard box from my toothpaste. That was the one from the paper bag or the plastic bag. That was the toothpaste box. This was the brush, the hair color brush. This was the packaging from the Tim Holtz swivel. And so was this one. Those are so cool. Then this was the one I just did with the flip-flop. And then that was the flip-flop with the light color on top. Then that was the placemat or the coaster, the rattan coaster. These two were the lemon bag, that one, and that was the underneath. And then this was just the brush, again, the hair brush thing. This one was the, oops, these two stuck together. This one was the brush, but it was um, too dark. The paint was too dark, so you can't really see it. No, the bag, that was the plastic bag, but it, you couldn't really see through it. And then this one was the candy, uh, the top of the box of candy. So those are really fun, right? So I'll just show you real quick my roll-off papers. I've been rolling on both sides. And now you can always stamp on these, put them, you know, gel plate them some more. But these are just the roll-offs. This is an envelope, just a, you know, used envelope with the window. There's another one. Here's another one. See, and if you put them in the journal, then all sides are covered if you flip them over while you're doing them. There's another one. This is just a piece of paper here. So, guys, that was it. That was a lot of fun playing with this, and I'll probably turn the camera off and get back to playing. I'm sorry it was such a long video, but I really do hope it inspires you to think outside of the box. You don't always have to just use stamps and stencils. There's lots of free stuff with cool texture, you know, right in front of you that you can use. Uh, on your jelly plate and create jelly plates that nobody else is going to have. I really like this, this Tim Holtz swivel package. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And until the next video, guys, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.